Hi everyone, welcome into a little house tour in Animal Crossing. This is the first house I had in Animal Crossing and it's also the first time I'm showing you around here on YouTube. So I hope you will enjoy. Thank you so much for joining. Grab yourself a cup of tea if you haven't already and get cozy. So here is the first room, which I would be calling like the main room. I've done a little bit of changing now. I've added a piano, but this is how it's been looking for some time now. I got a lot of plants, a lot of fishes, sort of like how I would want my room to be in real life. There's no real theme in here except that there's a lot of like tranquility, I guess. The, the, the atmosphere I'm going for is to have it be a very calming place to just breathe and relax and like smell the, the fresh air from the mist of the floor, I guess, and the, the little water area. Somewhere to relax and recharge and get some new energy, basically. And um, just have this these blue tones, a lot of, of fishes, a lot of little light sources. Just to make it look really nice and, and calming. Which I think is pretty nice to have as like the first room you enter. And then this room to the right, I have a little mermaid themed. Again, you can maybe already tell that I <laughs> I love everything related to water. I love mermaids. I love just in general all kinds of things that, that makes me think of water life. So I made a little room here that is very deeply inspired by the mermaids collection of items. But I also have this little place for tarot reading. I have a computer. Don't ask. <laughs> Where I chat with y'all. That's it's a Twitch chat, especially. But also, I can go into YouTube. I promise. <laughs> and the bathtub. I'm not sure why I have the PC in here. Now that I think about it, it's not very safe either for all the water consumption. No, all the water that is in here. Probably could be some accidents, but that's okay. That that's how it should be, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, we have a nice bathtub. We have all these little items and. The shell pieces, the mermaid dresses on the wall. Just things to uh, remind us that this is where we actually belong and what we actually should be. <laughs> I've actually loved this mermaid series so much. I've been super lucky of actually been given most of them as I haven't received all the DIYs myself yet. But I really love how they looked in this one and that there were different pieces that... Um, go so well together and go with other things as well. I had some time where I had it go with other pieces, but then when I had the wallpaper and the floor and everything, I just uh, I sort of gave in <laughs> after a while. I think I've done a little bit of small changes in there too, so I might have an update later on. In here, we have the sleepover room, basically. It's a place for having friends over, watching films. Oh, I didn't mean to actually press that. Always when I want to put away the wand, I always accidentally go <laughs> into the remodel place. But basically I have a bunk bed and I have this mattress on the floor. So we could be three people, maybe four if someone, maybe five if you sleep on the mats, but that's probably not that. The rug, sorry. If you sleep on the rugs, probably not that comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, we have a popcorn machine. We have this um, this, this uh, place to look at the movie, which is probably going to be difficult because the wall is actually covered with things. But, you know, you don't have to think about that. Also, this little spring item, the rock with the petals in, I am in love with. And I would do everything to have that in real life. I probably should try to recreate something like that, but... I would want it to be real petals and I don't know how I could have that actually work properly having the petals and the water and a big rock inside without the water you know evaporating after a while I'm not sure this room here is actually one of my favorites because it's very personal we have some jazz music I actually was taught in, in jazz music when I was, was growing up I used to listen to a lot of jazz and I used to sing jazz and play jazz so it's actually it has a very close place in my heart but the fireplace isn't on I don't know if I put that on <laughs> but the whole idea with this room is a place for inspiration for my writing I've always loved writing and the chair isn't pushed in either oh my gosh what a mess <laughs> 
I wanted a room that reminds me of how much I love to write and I love to read and that I should always take time for my passions and what I enjoy doing. So, so the room here is a reminder. I've got a place to sit down here and write and, and read and get some inspiration. And I'm, I'm literally surrounded by books everywhere. And we got a coffee cup as well to sit down by the sofa and have a have a calming little energizing <laughs> cup of coffee in between the writing. So yeah, it's, it's an inspiration room for me to continue to write in real life as well. Which reminds me that I should. I should. I, I will tomorrow. <laughs> And then now upstairs is a room that is inspired by when I was playing Animal Crossing Wild World, I believe. I had this upstairs room, which was a lot smaller, but I had this wallpaper there. And it was not as fancy as it is in this game. Oh no, there's a chair missing. <laughs> I thought this was prepared. Oh well, you just imagine that there's a chair there as well. <laughs> But I had this wallpaper who definitely doesn't look this nice in that game, but it's, it, it still looked fantastic. And I had this specific song. So... <laughs> so if, if I wanted to create something that reminded me that, of that, but like an upgraded version. So this is basically a cafe. Uh, or well, it's supposed to be a cafe. So we actually even had a date here where I was a waitress together with my friend Thomas. And it was... <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed that. We did that live on, on Twitch. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to create a room that has this cafe feeling, but still brings me back to that room I had in Wild World. I had a fireplace. I remember I had a table by supposedly like one of the windows out over the city. And it really brings me back to my very first Animal Crossing game and makes me kind of nostalgic. And that's the reason why I actually really like this room a lot. But the cupcake and everything, I actually still haven't had a birthday in Animal Crossing, but I was kind of gifted that by Thor, so I was able to have some sort of treats in here, except the, the giant cake there in the corner as well. But So yeah, that is the room, and now we have one more room left, and it is the very special room, and I think this too has some nostalgic meaning. At least I, I have this memory of trying to create a space room in Wild World, Vague memory, I don't think I succeeded. <laughs> There's a lot more items for it, I think, in this game. And I love this wallpaper paper and this flooring. It really makes me feel like I'm out uh, uh, exploring. I love that they had these 3D effects added to this game, because it really it sort of takes it to the new. Uh, to a new level and I'm really happy with how this room turned out. So there's this first little section where we learn everything we get ready to explore what isn't our earth and practice and <laughs> get ready, get excited, get pumped and work out so we're, we're strong and fit for it. We have some places to make food, very important that you you eat enough and are energized before you head out into space, right? <laughs> and then we're out here. It's very important, of course, to have our suit before we head out. And I love all these items that we have for the space room with the giant moon. The moon rug is so beautiful, too. I don't know if it's the best place to have it, but I really wanted it in this room. Maybe I should put it underneath the moon. Like a weird reflection illusion. I don't know. I gotta try that. But I love this moon uh, lander, I love the rocket, and this little, the, the rocket that is actually a closet, I love the little picture, I don't know if I show that actually, but I love the little, the little planets and stars that are in it, and I, I love the fact that it's a closet, honestly, I didn't know that when I first got it, and I think it's a nice little detail for sure that, um, we can change your clothes there as well, but yeah, I actually really love this room, and it makes me feel very, very cozy and calm being down here as well. I think this entire house makes me feel pretty cozy and calm. And it feels it feels like home now because I've had it like this for some time. Might want to redo it later on, but I really love how it how it's looking right now. And I'd like to have another room if that would have been possible. Maybe like a second attic or something. I like the idea too of having, you know, we have a bathroom and we sort of like have a kitchen, but it's actually a, a cafe. <laughs> but I would have liked to be able to have a very dedicated like a bathroom kitchen bedroom i think you get better scores if you have 
a bed in every room because I know that this room was the room that they liked the least which I believe was because it's not really a finished room we don't have table and chairs we don't have a bed we don't like to have a classic color scheme or anything but I think that it has a very specific atmosphere down there and I like that it is in the basement we actually had it as the attic first but it definitely feels like something you just you know go into a different world uh, downstairs so that's the tour of my house I really hope you enjoyed seeing everything in this home and that you enjoyed seeing how I live I hope you feel calm and cozy hanging here for a bit and I'd love to have you back for our next video I have some sims videos on this channel as well so you might want to check that out if you liked it please consider uh, liking it <laughs> So that I know that you like it and, you know, share it with a friend that you think might like this. And if you really like it, consider subscribing. Anyway, that's enough of all that. Thank you again so hecky much. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Sending you so much love for today. And I'll see you next time. I love you, I love you, I love you. Bye!